How's it going, guys? Watching Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 6. Let's just get right into it. statue so this is bravos huh your grace if you'd like to sit i'm sure that we've been here since midday the easterners have a different sense of time i've often found once i was waiting for salador's son here in bravos Together, we were going to run three shiploads of the finest. Do you want to lose more fingers? I don't think so. Welcome to the Iron Bank. Please, sit. I am the king! <laughs> How dare you make me sit on this marble bench while you well, sit in your grand chair? This is Stannis of the House Baratheon, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. The Iron Throne is currently occupied by Tommen of the House Baratheon, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. He shares no blood with me. He is a bastard, born of incest, as was his brother before him. Yes. We have heard this story. It's not a story. It's the truth. The king's grandfather tells a different story. A story about a jealous uncle whose attempts to usurp the throne from the rightful king cost the seven kingdoms dearly in blood and gold. Gold you loaned him. And you feel your blood gives you a claim on our gold. More than any man living. Across the narrow sea, your books are filled with words like usurper and madman and blood right. Here, our books are filled with numbers. We prefer the stories they tell. More plain, less open to interpretation. How many fighting men remain loyal to you? 4,000. And how many ships do you have? The one's still afloat, Sir Davos, not at the bottom of Blackwater Bay. <clears throat> Thirty-two. And how much wheat and barley and beef and pork do you produce on Dragonstone to feed your 4,000 men on your 32 ships? None. You can see why these numbers seem unlikely to add up to a happy ending, <laughs> from our perspective. <clears throat> I'm afraid we must respectfully decline your request. But we thank you for paying us the honor of your visit. My lord. I'm not a lord, Sir Davos Seaworth. You would not be either here in Bravos. Thieves are not rewarded with titles. Well, strictly speaking, I didn't do the thieving. That would be the pirates. I just moved what they stole from one place to another. This is the payment that was demanded by King Stannis for my crimes. I consider it an honest accounting. He's an honest man, and he's your best chance to get back the money you've sunk into Westeros. Which is a lot, I imagine. Wars are expensive. The war is over. As long as Stannis lives, the war is not over. Who's the real power in King's Landing? Sir Davos. Humor me. Tywin Lannister. How old is Tywin Lannister? 
67. 67, and when he dies, who's in command? A half-grown boy, a product of incest. Cersei Lannister, a queen whose people despise her. Jaime Lannister, a man best known for killing the king he was sworn to protect. When Tywin's gone, who do you back? That is a problem for another time. Begging your pardon, I think it's a problem for now. There's only one reliable leader left in Westeros. Stannis. He's got the birthright. He's in his prime. He's a tried and tested battle commander, and he doesn't just talk about paying people back, he does it. The lookout sees a pirate ship sailing their way. The captain shouts to the first uh, mate, no. Bring me my red shirt. The <coughs> first mate brings the red shirt, the captain puts it on, hey, and when the, the pirate. pirates try to board, the brave captain leads his men to victory. A few days later, the lookout screams, waiting for his usual command. Calm as ever. The captain back. Davos. I heard you were rotting in a dungeon in Dragonstone. Only half rotted. <laughs> Join us, my friend. Join us. Once I thought this man loved me. Now I know he despises me. He wants to see me die poor and alone on some poor. You won't be alone. And you won't be poor. There's a chest of the good stuff left back in your house. I gave it to your wife. <laughs> You're not my friend, my friend. <laughs> I'll see you at sunrise. I give you until the full moon to order all no iron way that bank scum would him. out of the north and back to those Whatever. shit stained rocks you call home. On the first night of the full moon, I will hunt down every islander still on our lands and flay them living. The way I flayed the 20 ironborn scum I found at Winterfell. In the box, you'll find a special gift. Theon's favorite toy. He cried when I took it away Finally, from him. Finally, we get to see Leave the North now or more boxes move. will follow with more Theon. Signed, Ramsay Snow. Natural born son of Roos Bolton, Lord of the Dreadfort, and Warden of the North. I'm here for Theon Greyjoy. Take me to the dungeons. He's not in the dungeons. <laughs> He's in the fucking animal pens. Broken, huh? Knock him out. We have to knock him out. Just knock him out. This is turning into a lovely evening. Give me my brother, and no more of your men will die. You've got bigger balls than he ever did. With those big balls of yours. 
How fast can you run? Make for the ship, now. We are proven. My brother's dead. No. Yes, Rick. Those creatures who came in the night, they wanted to take you away. And you didn't let them. You remained loyal. I, I didn't want them to take me. I was so scared. I didn't yes. want them. Yes, yes, It's a bath. Now. I put this dude out of his misery. Uh, if you were his sister, you should at least, at least take the guy out. Do you love me, Rick? Yes, of course, my lord. Good. Because I need you to do something for me, something very important. There's a castle, you see. Some bad men hold this castle. I need your help to take this castle back. But how can it? I need you to play a role. To pretend to be someone you're not. Pretend to be who? Beyond Greyjoy. Big. Can't my fish crush my ovaries? Can't I? Where can you tell me where in your fish is? He is a goat herd. He says he prayed for your victory against the slave masters. I thank him for his prayers. Tar daina de sacrimos. Tash pa saldrijesh, ya tar. Oe saldrijesh. Mashish kizinye kon ya plo. It was your dragons, he says. They came this morning for his flock. Ya lang thango thango shechlish. He hopes he has not offended your grace, but now he has nothing. Tell this man I am sorry for his hardship. I cannot bring back his goats, but I will see he has paid their value three times over. Grimoire. Osiris. Grimoire. 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 My father, one of Mirian's most respected and beloved citizens, oversaw the restoration and maintenance of its greatest landmarks, this pyramid included. For that, he has my gratitude. I should be honored to meet him. You have your grace. You crucified him. Die. I pray you will never live to see a member of your family treated so cruelly. Your father crucified innocent children. My father spoke out against crucifying those children. He decried it as a criminal act, but was overruled. Is it justice to answer one crime with another? I am sorry you no longer have a father, but my treatment of the masters was no crime. You'd be wise to remember that. What's done is done. You are the queen, and I am a servant of Myrene, a servant who does not wish to see its traditions eradicated. And what traditions do you speak of? The tradition of funeral rite. Proper burial in the Temple of the Graces. My father and 162 noble Myronies are still I nailed to those need... posts. Carrion for vultures. Rotting in the sun. I think you need to not occupy yourself with little squabbles like this. Don't get involved in Your little... Grace, I ask that you order these men taken down so that they might receive proper burials. And what of the slave children these noble Marinese crucified? 
Let me have him brought to the temple and buried his about dignity it. so that he might find peace in the next you can't world. give everybody what they want. Bury your father, Star Zorora. Thank you, my queen. Tywin and I already determined that I shall be the master of ships long before you. Lord Tywin, it's a great honor to have been granted a seat on this council. I the trial begins this afternoon. We only have the morning for affairs of state. So shall we begin? Sandor Clegane has been spotted in the Riverlands, my lord. I heard from Varys and all. Coward and a traitor. My birds tell me the hound slaughtered five of our soldiers. I believe the phrase, fuck the king, was up. What would it take to make the common soldier stupid enough to try his luck with the hound? Ten silver stags seems a generous bounty. Make it a hundred. What else? More whispers from the east, my lord. The Targaryen girl. Daenerys has taken up residence in Meereen. She has conquered the city and rules as its queen. Conquered with what? She commands an army of unsullied, my queen, some 8,000 strong. She has a company of sellswords, the second sons. She has two knights advising her, Jorah Mormont and Barristan Selmy. And she has three dragons. Baby dragons. Larger every year, your grace. Mormont is spying on her for us. No longer he appears to be fully devoted to her. As for Sir Barristan, it would seem he took his dismissal from the king's guard a bit harder than anticipated. <laughs> He's an old man. He wasn't fit to protect my son. Joffrey didn't die on his watch. Dismissing him was as insulting as it was stupid. Don't tell me you're worried about a child halfway across the world. A child with two seasoned warriors counseling her and a powerful army at her back, your grace. But Varys is right. I have been to Essos and seen the Unsullied firsthand. They are very impressive on the battlefield. Less so in the bedroom. Dragons haven't won a war in 300 years. Armies win them all the time. She must be dealt with. How, oh, my lord? By force? Eventually, if it comes to that. Can your little birds find their way into Meereen? Most certainly, my lord Hand. Mm. Lord Tyrell, be a good man. Fetch my quill and paper. Soberum. Lord Varys. Only Varys. I'm not actually a nobleman. No one is under obligation to call me Lord. And yet everyone does. You seem quite knowledgeable about the Unsullied. Did you spend much time in Essos? Five years. May I ask why? It is a big and beautiful world. Most of us live and die in the same corner where we were born and never get to see any of it. I don't That's want to sure. be most of us. Most of us aren't princes. <laughs> you are from Essos. Where? Lise. I have an ear for accents. I've lost my accent entirely. I have an ear for that as well. <laughs> How did you get here? It's a long story. One you don't like telling people. People I trust. My paramour, Eladia, she would find you very interesting. You should come to the brothel and meet her. We brought our own wine. Not the swill they serve here. We have some lovely boys on retainer, but... <laughs> you did like boys before. Really? Girls, hmm. I hope you won't be offended when I say I never would have guessed. Not at all. But I was never interested in girls either. What then? Nothing. Everybody is interested in something. Not me. When I see what desire does to people, what it's done to this country, I am very glad to have no part in it. <laughs> Besides, <clears throat> the absence of desire leaves one free to pursue other things. 
such as power. <laughs> Are we going to have his trial this episode? Oh, are they coming to get him? They are. He's dressed. Let me guess. I've been pardoned. I, Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of my name, King of the Angles and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, do hereby recuse myself from this trial. Hmm. Tywin of the House Lannister, Hand of the King, and Protector of the Realm, will sit as judge in my stead. With him, Prince Oberyn of the House Martell, and Lord Mace of the House Tyrell. And if found guilty, May the gods punish the accused. Tyrion of the House Lannister. You stand accused by the Queen Regent of Regicide. Did you kill King Joffrey? No. Did your wife, the Lady Sansa? Not that I know of. How would you say he died then? Choked on his pigeon pie. So you would blame the bakers? Or the pigeons, just leave me out of it. The Crown may call its first witness. Once we'd got King Joffrey safely away from the mob, the imp rounded on him. He slapped the king across the face and called him a vicious idiot and a fool. What? It wasn't the first time the imp ah. threatened Joffrey. Right, right here, in this throne room. He marched up those steps and called our king a halfwit. <laughs> compared his grace to the mad king and suggested he'd meet the same fate. And when I spoke in the king's defense, he threatened to have me killed. Oh, why don't you tell them what Joffrey was doing? Silence! Pointing a loaded crossbow at Sansa Stark while you tore out her clothes and beat her. Silence! Huh? You will not speak unless called upon. You're dismissed, Sir Merrin. Sweet sleep. Tears of lease. Demons dance. I really wish they get rid of this guy. Uh, a blind eye. I think you have made your point, Grand Maester. You have a lot of poison in your store. Had, Prince Oberyn. My stores were plundered. By whom? <laughs> By the accused, Tyrion Lannister, after he had me wrongfully imprisoned. Grand Maester, you examined King Joffrey's corpse. Was it without question poison that killed him? Without question. This was found on the body of Dantos Hollard, the king's fool. He was last seen spiriting Sansa Stark, the wife of the accused, away from the feast. She wore this necklace oh, wow. the day of the wedding. <coughs> they found the necklace. Residue of the most rare and terrible poison was found inside was this one of the poisons stolen from your store no it was no, it wasn't the strangler a poison few in the seven kingdoms possess and used to strike down the most noble child the gods ever put oh, on so this good been, earth uh, <laughs> it would have been peter that went and plundered his store I will hurt you for this, 
A day will come when you think you are safe and happy, <laughs> and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. Is he and ever going to get the paid. speak in his defense? Your own brother said this to you. Shortly before the Battle of Blackwater Bay, I confronted him about his plans to put Joffrey on the front lines. As it turned out, when the attack came, Joff insisted on remaining at the battlements. He believed his presence would inspire the troops. Tyrion said, and you will know the debt is paid. What debt? I discovered he'd been keeping whores in the Tower of the Hand. I asked him to confine his salacious acts to the brothel where such behavior belongs. He wasn't pleased. Thank you, Your Grace, for the courage of your testimony. The courage. He said, perhaps you should speak more softly to me then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now kings are dying like flies. And he said this to you at a meeting of the small council. Yes, after we received word of Rob Stark's death. He didn't seem gladdened by the news. Perhaps his marriage to Sansa Stark had made him more sympathetic to the Northern cause. <laughs> Why is he such a asshole? Your excuse, Lord Varys. Father, may I ask the witness one question? One. You once said that without me, the city would have faced certain defeat. You said the histories would never mention me, but you would not forget. Have you forgotten, Lord Varys? Sadly, my lord, I never forget a thing. We will adjourn for now. Toll the bells in an hour's time. Clear the court! So is he not going to get to speak in his defense, or what? You condemn your own son to death. I've condemned no one. The trial is not over. This isn't a trial. It's a farce. Cersei has manipulated everything, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. You've always hated Tyrion. He killed his king. As did I. Do you know the last order the Mad King gave me? To bring him your head. I saved your life so you could murder my brother. It won't be murder, it'll be justice. Justice? I'm performing my sworn duty as Hand of the King. If Tyrion is found guilty, he will be punished accordingly. He'll be executed. No, he'll be punished accordingly. Once you said, family, is what lives on, all that lives on. You told me about a dynasty that would last a thousand years. What happens to your dynasty when Tyrion dies? I'm a king's guard, forbidden by oath to carry on the family line. I'm well aware of your oath. What happens to your name? Who carries the lion banner into future battles? Your nephews? Lancel Lannister? Others whose names I don't even remember. What happens to my dynasty if I spare the life of my grandson's killer? It survives through me. I'll leave the king's god. I'll take my place as your son and heir if you let Tyrion live. Wow. Done. When the testimony is concluded and the guilty verdict rendered, Tyrion will be given the chance to speak. He'll plead for mercy. I'll allow him to join the Night's Watch. Oh, Jesus. In three what? days' time, he'll depart for Castle Black and live out his days of the war. You'll remove your white cloak immediately. You will leave King's so Landing plan. to assume your rightful place at anyway, Castle Anyway, of course. You will marry a suitable woman and father children named Lannister. And you'll never turn your back on your family again. You have my word. And you have mine. Wow. Tyrion. At the Night's Watch.
if they're even still around by then. Not going well, is it? You're going to be found guilty. Oh, you think so? And when you are, you need to enter a formal plea for mercy and ask to be sent to the wall. Father's agreed to it. He'll spare your life and allow you to join the Night's Watch. Ned Stark was promised the same thing, and we both know how that turned out. Father is not Joffrey. He'll keep his word. How do you know? Do you trust me? Keep your mouth shut. No more outbursts. That. This will all be over soon. <clears throat> Fuck that. Die with honor. If it's gonna happen, die with honor. Don't go the path of uh, of Ned. Crown may call its next witness. Don't make his mistake. Plead to something you didn't do. What? State your name. She. Do you swear by all the gods that your testimony will be true and honest? I swear it. Do you know this man? Yes. Tyrion Lannister. Now how do you know him? I was handmaiden to his wife, Lady Sansa. This man stands accused of murdering King Joffrey. What do you know of this? I know that he's guilty. He and Sansa planned it together. Silence! Continue. She wanted revenge for her father, her mother, her brother. She blamed their deaths on the king. Tyrion was happy to help. He hated Joffrey. He hated the queen. He hated this you, my lord. Varys doing? He stole poison from the Grand Mesa's chamber to put in Joffrey's wine. How could you possibly know all this? Why would he reveal such plans to his wife's maid? I wasn't just her maid. I was his whore. I beg your pardon? You said you were his... His whore. How did you come to be in his service? He stole me. I was with another man, a knight in your lordship's army. But when Tyrion arrived at the camp, he sent one of his cutthroats into our tent. He broke the knight's arm and brought me to Lord Tyrion. You belong to me now, he said. I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. <laughs> wow. Silence. Silence! And did you? Did I what? Fuck him like it was his last night in this world. I did everything he wanted. Whatever he told me to do to him, whatever he felt like doing to me. I kissed him where he wanted, I licked him where he wanted. I let him put himself where he wanted. I was his property. I would wait in his chambers for hours so he could use me when he was bored. Jesus. He ordered me to call him my lion, so I did. I took his face in my hands and said, <sighs> I am yours and you are mine. Wow. She. Please don't. I am a whore, remember? Wow, she's that hurt, huh? That was before he married Sansa. After that, all he wanted was her. But she wouldn't let him in her bed. So he promised to kill King Joffrey for her. I wish to confess. I 
wish to confess. You wish to confess? I saved you. I saved this city and all your worthless lives. I should have let Stannis kill you all. Tyrion! Do you wish to confess? Yes, Father. I'm guilty. Guilty? Is that what you want to hear? Do you admit you poisoned the king? No. Of that I'm innocent. I'm guilty of a far more monstrous crime. I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You are not on trial for being a dwarf. Oh, yes I am. I've been on trial for that my entire life. Have you nothing to say in your defense? Nothing but this. I did not do it. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. I wish I was the monster you think I am. I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. Samarin! Samarin, escort the prisoner back to his cell. I will not give my life for Joffrey's murder, and I know I'll get no justice here, so I will let the gods decide my fate. I demand a trial by combat. Is he gonna be able? Is he gonna be able to do the same thing he did at Ly Lysa's, Madame Lysa, or whatever his name is, uh, uh, castle, and be like, "Oh, I'm at a disadvantage. I need somebody to fight in my stead." And then he's gonna pick his brother Jamie, who only has a left hand. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't even think of that. They did that before. He did that before at the Child by Combat, and I totally forgot that that was a thing. I'm so glad he didn't do what Jamie wanted him to do and, and go to Castle Black. I'm glad he held his ground and didn't confess to something he didn't do. And he let his true feelings out, that's for sure. So that'll be interesting. Daenerys seems to be a bit occupied up where she is. She is letting things that probably shouldn't matter occupy her time. I know she has a heart for, you know, uh, the slave trade and everything that's going on over there and making people's lives right, but she can't spend her... I mean, th there's no end to it. She'd be spending her whole life there trying to right wrongs and there's if she wants Westeros then she just needs to go and, and get it but um yeah she's occupied where she's at right now that's for sure Stannis apparently got some gold from the bank and uh I guess she's going to buy armies and ships and whatever he needs with it i just don't see stannis having another shot at taking the red keep i know he's got that red woman on the side and whatever magic she has but i just don't see him ever sitting on that throne tywin actually uh well tywin in the small council actually sat and discussed 
uh, what they know about Daenerys and her uprising and started to strategize as to how to deal with her, but didn't really go into detail uh, of what they would plan to do. But uh, at least they're finally, finally acknowledging her. Well, that's going to do it for me on this episode. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.